Well, the field of Alzheimer's disease research right now with regard to therapeutics is really at a low. We've had many drug failures recently. A whole class of drugs has shown to be ineffective in treating the disease, maybe even causing some harm. So the fact that this drug class, the antibodies against amyloid, may be effective at removing the amyloid from the brain and stabilizing people clinically is a big step. Now, this is just, again, approval to file with the FDA. It's not approval of the drug yet, but if it goes forward and if it meets the criteria by the FDA for approval, that's a major feature for the disease. Well, it's, it's difficult to say uh, that a drug cures Alzheimer's disease, but this could be classified as a disease-modifying therapy, meaning that in addition to perhaps treating the symptoms, it actually gets at the underlying nature of the disease. So again, if amyloid is a defining feature of the disease, this drug gets at removing one of the fundamental proteins and could be called a disease-modifying therapy. The company ran two parallel studies for individuals with mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. And the two studies were designed to be parallel studies to replicate each other. And when the company looked at the data that they had available to them, one of the studies was positive and one was negative. So the question then became, what was it in the study that was negative that caused it to, to fail? And the, the company then went back and looked at the subset of people who received the high dose of the drug and asked the question, how long were they on the drug? And they realized that there were people in the failed study that did not have sufficient exposure to the drug, high dose for a sufficient period of time. So when they reanalyzed those people in the failed study who had been exposed to the high dose for a sufficiently long period of time, they performed in a similar fashion to the people in the positive study. So they're inferring from this that in fact, if people receive the drug for the, at the right dose for a sufficiently long period of time, they will be responding to it.